now we do actually have Peter Cowles, the founder, CEO, and chief beer scientist at Aspetuck Brew Labs coming up to talk and pitch to our judges here at the Startup Brewery Challenge. And you got a clicker right here, and your three minutes is down there. All right, introducing the Aspetuck Brew Lab. It's the first brewery in uh, Bridgeport, the largest city in Connecticut since 1940. We take a scientific approach to the brewing process, respecting heritage, classic styles, while pushing the boundaries by embracing a healthy appetite for experimentation. We've actually created a craft beer incubator. We experiment with styles, ingredients, flavors, process, and marketing. Basically, we've created a, an across-the-bar uh, focus group in our top. I lost my everything. Hmm. No signal. No signal, guys. Oh. We are just having all sorts of, I, I still blame it on the citradelic. All right, there we go. we're back, we're back. I've created an across the bar focus group with a unique brand experience and a really strong sense of community in our neighborhood. Our ultimate goal is to identify those beers with the most demand and commercial potential and dial them in and scale up with a partner contract brewery. Our experience and revenue model. We have an 1,800 square foot facility in a high traffic residential retail neighborhood. It's walkable. It's young, hip, creative, diverse population, much like here in Brooklyn. A lot of facial hair, too. Um, we have a seven barrel brew house, four seven barrel fermenters. We're draft only. This is a big pilot system. We've got a 50 person tap room with laboratory theme, eight taps for on premise consumption and growler fills. We're open only four days a week, Thursday to Sunday, and we're packed. We're self distributing. We're hosting private events, and we're selling merchandise. Who we are? Well, it's my wife and I. Uh, we're 50-50 partners. We're self-funded. I actually have a day job. I am um, fashion by day I, uh, and the marketing director for InStyle. I have 25 years in media and marketing and technology. I have an MBA from NYU. I have 18 years brewing experience as an amateur, the last eight hardcore BJCP competitions, and that's what really fueled me to start the venture. My wife. She's actually our general contractor in addition to having a great background in marketing, design, and branding. She has an MBA from Columbia, has worked with worldwide brands as big as Fila, Strideright, Diet Coke, J&J. &J. She's also 10 years as uh, Deve Director of Development for the Aspetuck Land Trust. We actually get our water from the Aspetuck watershed. Aspetuck means river from a high place. We're shooting to take beer to a higher place. The future and beyond, we want to grow our draft accounts aggressively and hire a sales director. We want to drive our taproom traffic through the roof. We want to create more themed events and expand our marketing initiatives. We want to explore mobile canning. We know it's lower margin, but it's going to be greater volume for us and great exposure out in the marketplace. We want to be contracting by the end of year two. Moving forward, we want to be known for unique, consistent, flavorful beers, and we want the brand experience on our taproom to be friendly, relaxed, and welcoming with a scientific edge. And you know what? We really want to have the nicest, cleanest bathroom of any brewery in Connecticut. And I'll leave you with a picture. So. <laughs> awesome. Nice, clean breweries are very important. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the biggest comments we get after our uh, beer is the bathroom. It's beautiful. <laughs> People stay long enough to pee, so. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's, that's a, a good, good thing. thing. Um, <laughs> Carmen, I'll get your initial reaction. I mean, obviously a very polished pitch. Uh, clearly you've uh, given some presentations in your day, Peter. So, Carmen, what do you think of the brand position, the pitch, and, uh, and the beer itself? I think you add stay long enough to pee as a tagline and you're mm. done. <laughs> <laughs> Just drop it I'll bounce it off the boss. Yeah, good, good call. Um, no, the pitch was very good. Uh, I think that it was, it was great to hear your sense of business as well. I think that it... Um, asking some smart questions about margin and what's realistic in the future. I, I liked that you had a plan for the future. I think that's really good. Um, I'm interested about the name itself, the Brew Lab. You talked a lot about um, a really, um, about creating a focus group sort of at the pub. And, I'm, and I want to hear a little bit more about that. Absolutely. Um, I'm brewing is very scientific, obviously. A lot of science involved. And there's also a lot of science involved in marketing. Uh, I think they, ha they go hand in hand, really, and where we are, we're constantly changing things. We're constantly listening across the bar, asking people what they think of the beer, what they like, what else they like out there. I wanna, I'm more interested in flavors, not even beer, but what kind of flavors do you like? What are you looking for? And what's going to push you outside your comfort zone and make you try new things? Awesome. 
Michael, uh, you, you work with a lot of different brands. Um, we touched on the Brew Lab component of the name, but Aspatuck, I mean, obviously it's, a, it's something that I think people in Connecticut might be familiar with, but you know, when you start to kind of get out no. from your home turf, is that going to be a tough thing for people to wrap their heads around? Um, this idea of taking beer to a higher place. What do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, the, the name Aspatuck is odd, certainly. I mean, the, and it'll stand out for those reasons, but it's going to be hard for anybody to connect to. It doesn't necessarily hurt you, but it certainly doesn't help you. Um, so it'll be, you know, the geography of this concept may or may not be that important later on. Um, so it's always, it, I think it's always relevant to have it in the beginning. And then as you grow, it becomes less and less. Uh, suddenly you just become an, a brewery from California, right, or something like that. Um, the tagline for me, while I, th I think I understand the intent of it, I don't necessarily connect the phrase higher place with anything scientific or lab oriented. Um, it feels almost a little bit more like uh, aspirational poster kind of. Like, like it just has a very different vocabulary to it than the rest of the vocabulary you're using. Um, but that would be my feedback on that. All right. And, uh, you know, Luis, you have a pretty thriving tap room business there in the Wynwood district. Uh, what do you think about the, just the idea that they, you know, are clearly 50 person tap room relying on that as a, as a core piece of their business long term? Is that a viable strategy, do you feel? Yeah, I mean, if he's, you know, obviously looking at contract brewing, <clears throat> so, I mean, a seven barrel system, and you need, if, I mean, if you're putting it all out of your tap room, I mean, that's great. It's great for cash flow. Um, and if you're if you're packed and you're busting at the seams, that's that's awesome. Um, can you tell me about the beer? Absolutely. Well, we're, we've got eight things on tap right now. Um, what you're drinking in front of you is what we're calling a new age IP. Or a, I'm sorry, a new world IPA. It's a blend of Southern Hemisphere hops and traditional American citra and lemon drop. Um, what I actually did with this, I used a recipe pretty close to my base recipe for my saison. It's pilsner wheat uh, and an American. Um, and American uh, yeast, very clean, very dry. Are you so doing the brewing? Yes. Cool. Well, that's all the time we have. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hey there. If you're enjoying our coverage of the craft beer business, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or watching some more of our great content already uploaded.